welcome to sonia goes natural during our childhood days i think everyone has enjoyed the scene of having from the street side windows this churanwala that lovely tamarind goli so let's start with this recipe which is super yummy here i have taken 100 grams of uh, tamarind my tamarind is the super soft de seeded ones and this is 100 grams of jaggery so both of these are equal and 100 grams of coating sugar so very simple recipe starting with little bit of water to put the jaggery in so this is basically you can say uh, water just to dissolve the jaggery it is optional you can just avoid taking water so as the jaggery melts into it we are just going to wait for it so as far as you can see the jaggery has melted here into this i'm going to put some masalas starting with this is roasted cumin this is the chaat masala and this is the red chili powder so these are one teaspoon each the you can just add just the spices as per your preferences and this is for coating the sugar the powder sugar so now as you can see the jaggery has melted properly so this is the time when i'm going to spice it up with the spices but before that let the tamarind go let it get mixed with this now this tamarind normally you need to grind the tamarind if it is a bit hard one but my is a very soft version so you just have to basically form a paste of the tamarind that's what i intend when you are making a tamarind goli so here i'm putting the spices starting with the cumin powder the chaat masala and the red chili powder all this have gone and now your tamarind golis will be that spicy yummy and very very you can see this type of the paste we want the water gets evaporated and i'm going to take out this paste let it cool it takes about 15 20 minutes it can take half an hour also so i'm just waiting you can see at this point this has fully cooled down i've taken a little bit ghee in my palms and i'm going to make golis out of excitement i made a very big size of the golis which i had to reduce later on so you will see that so i just made a super big size of the golis so you can just make smaller versions which i did later on though you will see <laughs> but in the starting i thought this is the correct size so this has turned out to be very very nice by greasing your palms with ghee will just help in not sticking of the mixture in your hand and rolling of the balls in a very easy manner so now one by one these goris are getting ready so now you can see you can store it for a month or so you can see these are ready i have reduced the size so this are this yummy yummy tamarind goris which you can enjoy at any time plus tamarind is very good for digestion so do enjoy this and tell me your experience how it was till we meet next time please like share and subscribe to sonia goes natural bye bye